Why do we laugh? It's a question that has puzzled scientists, philosophers, and comedians for centuries. You might think it's just a simple reaction, but oh, it's so much more than that. Let's dive into the fascinating world of laughter. First off, laughter is universal. Every culture, every country, every person, no one is immune to it. Even babies laugh before they can talk. Isn't that wild? It's like laughter is hardwired into our DNA. But why? Well, laughter serves a purpose. It's a social glue that binds us together. When we laugh with others, it creates connections, strengthens relationships, and builds camaraderie. You know that feeling when you share a good joke with a friend? That's not just joy, it's bonding. But wait, there's more. Laughter also has some incredible health benefits. Ever heard of the saying, laughter is the best medicine? There's truth to it. When you laugh, your body releases endorphins, the feel-good hormones. This boosts your mood and reduces stress. In fact, studies have shown that laughter can lower blood pressure, improve immune functions, and even relieve pain. Imagine that. A hearty laugh can be just as effective as some medications. Now, let's talk about the science behind it. Researchers have discovered that laughter activates regions in the brain associated with reward. That's right! When something tickles your funny bone, your brain lights up like a Christmas tree. It's a rush of pleasure. But why do we find things funny in the first place? Theories abound. One popular idea is the incongruity theory. Basically, we laugh when there's a surprising twist, when something doesn't quite match our expectations. Think of a punchline that catches you off guard. It's that sudden realization that triggers the giggles. Another interesting theory is the superiority theory. This one suggests we laugh at the misfortunes of others. Think slapstick comedy. It's a bit controversial, but hey, it's part of human nature to feel a sense of superiority when someone else trips up, right? But don't worry, it's all in good fun. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the different types of laughter. There's the hearty belly laugh that comes from deep within, the polite chuckle that says, that's nice, and the snort that sneaks out when something is just too funny to contain. Each type has its place in our lives, don't you think? But here's something to ponder. Laughter can also be a coping mechanism. Have you ever laughed during an awkward situation? It's a way to diffuse tension and make the uncomfortable a little more bearable. Think of a funeral where someone cracks a joke to lighten the mood. It's not disrespectful, it's human. And let's not forget about laughter's role in communication. It can convey emotions that words sometimes can't. A shared laugh can say, I get you, or we're in this together. It transcends language barriers and cultural differences. A smile and a laugh can break down walls that words sometimes can't. Now, in today's world, laughter is more important than ever. With everything happening around us, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But finding humor in daily life can be a game changer. It's a way to nurture resilience, to face challenges with a lighter heart. A good laugh can shift your perspective, help you see the silver lining, and remind you that joy exists even in tough times. So the next time you hear a good joke or share a funny moment with someone, remember, you're not just laughing, you're connecting, healing, and embracing the beautiful chaotic experience that is life. Laughter is a powerful tool, a delightful release, and a reminder that, despite everything, there's always room for joy. If you like the video, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Al Bowie